Cespedes giving chase, not going to get there, falls in. Kendrick on his way to third, Cespedes bobbles it. De Sarcina waving Kendrick home. Here's the throw to the plate, and Howie is gunned down. What an unbelievable throw by Joanna Cespedes. MLB The Show is at the gateway to the West, St. Louis, Missouri, and lovely Bush Stadium. Today, in high definition, it's an exhibition matchup between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Colorado Rockies. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian getting set to bring you this one on the show. I'll be joined in the booth shortly by longtime big leaguers Eric Karras and Steve Lyons. But first, let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting St. Louis Cardinals. As manager Mike Matheny will line his guys up this way. They'll match up against the Mexican-born left-hander Jorge De La Rosa, as you see his numbers right there on your screen.
Matt Carpenter will head for the box as we are just about ready to get things going today. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. First pitch, 1 o'clock. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0 and 2. Oh man, what a perfect pitch right there in a perfect spot. And that's exactly how you have to attack a guy like this. He wasn't even close on that pitch. Here it comes. Oh, and he just picked him apart in that at bat as he's gone on three pitches, one away. So Carpenter retired to start things out. And with that, let's bring in a look at how the Rockies will line up defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. Jason Hayward will get his first opportunity now. Now the first pitch. Swing and a shot toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. Around second. He'll try for third. And he is in there at third with a one-out triple. Well, here you go one more time. This ball's going to split the defenders out there in right center. And he's thinking three pretty much right out of the gate. So he cruises around second and makes it up to third with a triple. Matt Holliday standing in now as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. He waits. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. And, and now this is where you can be just a little bit more selective as a pitcher. You're looking for the strikeout. You certainly don't have to throw a strike in either of the next two pitches. So you got to see if you can get him to chase. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, that's a good confidence builder with a runner on base here in the first. But this is definitely the man to worry about in this lineup. There's little question about that, so he'll be fired up about that one. Matt Adams will stand in now in an early RBI spot in the top of the first. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. One thing to keep an eye on as this game goes along, first pitch strikes. The more this guy can work from ahead, better off he's going to be right back to the changeup just as effective here it's nothing in two do you even bother with anything else here no, I sure wouldn't as a hitter you're thinking look for fastball adjust for an off speed pitch and so far in this at bat he hasn't made any adjustments he's set now the pitch and here's a ball hit in the air Hundley is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Cards leave one and now the Rockies will go on offense for the first time. No score. Batting order for the Rockies looks like this. Charlie Blackman will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. First pitch hack in here and that's the first strike.
And now pitch on the way. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four-seam it every once in a while, and when he does, you can forget it. Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. Carlos Gonzalez will step in now. Now the first pitch. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. The pitch. Bouncing ball back up the middle. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Hold on here, though. You can see the skipper heading out of the dugout now, so that very close safe call might be challenged. Yeah, I wasn't so sure about him being safe either, but here's one more look at it right here. Tough to tell for sure from that angle. We'll have to wait and see what the signal is from the dugout. And that's a thumbs up from the bench, so they will challenge the call on the field. So the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will now review the play from all available angles in order to make the final decision. Here's Troy Tulowitzki now. Now a little tapper here up the first baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. From the belt, kicks and deals. I got the high fastball there and he popped it straight up. Under it is Carpenter, and that's out number two. Yeah, you know, it's not always easy to pick up the baseball in one of these bright, sunny days. But I mean, he shades his eyes well, and he puts this one away for the second out. Here's the first offering. And, oh, pretty nonchalant that time by Molina as that pitch gets away. And just what they wanted offensively as the runner moves into scoring position. Yeah, if you're catching a guy like this, you got to be ready for everything. His fastball will sink, it'll cut, it'll fade. It can be unpredictable at times, and you can't get a handle on it here. From the stretch, here's a hard hit ball ripped down the first base line. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Comes set, now the pitch. Now he turns on one and rips it down the line. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Another 0-2 now from Wainwright. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. We've played an inning. No score here on the show. Yadier Molina leads things off now in the top half of the second. Catcher, Yadier Molina. First pitch coming. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. So that'll go into the books as an E6, and he'll be kicking himself over that one. Johnny Peralta will take his cuts now. Now here's the first pitch. This is foul right side. Hands held high by Peralta. Now the pitch. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0-2. And you can see it. He's upset with himself out there at short. And he should be. He's a big leaguer. He'd like to get a ground ball here to get himself off the hook. Swing and a shot toward second. And a sliding try at that one, but it'll get through for a base hit. Batting 
seven. You make a mistake up to this guy, it's going to make you pay. This pitch is belt high, and he just jumps all over it and drives it into the alley to put runners on second and third now. Colton Wong swings and misses there, so he's down 0 1. Boy, not very decisive there. And hey, it's early, but this is a big spot. Yeah, and you need to be able to commit to what you're doing because you're not going to do anything with a swing like that. Runners at second and third here, nobody out. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. From the belt, the pitch, and a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. John Jay will dig in with a couple of guys in scoring position and a chance to take the lead here in the early going. First pitch on the way. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. He's ready. Now the pitch. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. No score here as we play inning number two. Has a look. Now the pitch. Way outside. One and two. And he doesn't want to give in here, even on a one and two count. Not with the base open and the pitcher on deck. A big pitch here, one and two. Now he turns on a fastball here and sends it to deep right field. Catch is made. Here comes the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Well, that's all he's hoping to do right here. Just get that thing airborne and get that first run of the game home. He does his job, picks up the RBI. Adam Wainwright will get a chance to swing away, and he'll have a chance to pad onto his lead if he can deliver something here with two away. First pitch coming. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a 2-0 lead. Well, I think you really have to question this decision here for him trying to get the out at the plate. Maybe if it's hit to a corner infielder, but this was always going to be a long shot, and he winds up beating the throw easily. Here's Matt Carpenter as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. He waits. Now the pitch. Boy, and he's really having trouble picking up that slider in this at bat. It's 0-2. I'll tell you what. This is the wrong team to fall further behind here in the early going. You got to get out of this mess and soon. Pause. Now the pitch. On oh, a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. So two runs on just one hit in the inning, one error, and one man left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Cardinals lead it two to nothing. Nolan Arenado will lead things off here as they'll have five, six, and seven due up to start the home second. Oh, missed that one by a mile. It's 0 and 1. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at bat. Now here's the pitch. Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Down 2 nothing here early. They get the leadoff man on to start the second. See how they want to play things from here. Corey Dickerson steps in now. Here's the first offering. And there's the good fastball that time from Wayne Wright as he gets ahead 0-1. Yeah, and that's the swing of a guy hoping for a first pitch curveball right there. If he gets it, 
he hammers it. If not, he's about three feet too late. He's set, now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. From the stretch. And a defensive swing there. That pitch hit him, I believe. But it won't matter as it'll go into the books as a strikeout for route number one. Standing in now, Nick Hundley, as Wainwright's able to jump ahead of him here with strike one. Part of the reason why you win 20 games, well, you don't give up the long ball. And Wainwright last year, just 10 home runs allowed in 227 innings. That's the best ratio among starters in the National League. Come on, Rockies! Come set, now the pitch. Pretty well hit, deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats, foul. From the belt, kicks and deals, fouled back. Another 0-2 now from Wainwright. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Well, so much for being thrown out of rhythm by that leadoff single. Doesn't seem to have affected him one bit. Come back with the two straight strikeouts, and now he's turned things around at this end. DJ LeMayhew will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. From the belt, the pitch. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Stick around because Jason Hayward will lead things off when we come back. After two, it's a two-nothing ball game. And there is Jason Hayward. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. Jason Hayward. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Matt Holliday will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. First offering on the way. And he gets under this one and in fact breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And this will not be caught, it's a foul ball. Now the pitch. Grounded, foul. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And the pitch. And a wide one here one for ball, ball one. Break. One, two. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Here's another one, two. There's a foul ball off to the right side, and that'll move the count to one and two. Now another one, two. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. Here he comes again, one, two. Strike. 
And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Well, I know that instantly everyone's going to start pointing fingers out there, but when you're facing a guy like this, as a pitcher, you have to be allowed to work inside. That'll hurt a bit, but it's just part of the game you have to live with. Here's Matt Adams now. As a good changeup will get him to commit too early, and it's strike one. Now he's probably lucky he didn't make contact on that one. Runner at first here, one man out. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. Comes set, now the pitch. Oh, Adams a little too quick on that one as this is pulled foul into the seats down the right side. The next 0-2. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. So a runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And here now is the catcher, Yadier Molina. First pitch to him. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make that play. And that ends the inning. One left for the Cardinals, but they're on top two to nothing. Jorge De La Rosa makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. First pitch coming. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. You like what you've seen from this guy so far? I do. I, I like where he's putting the fastball, and I like the movement he's been getting on both his curveball and changeup. I think he'll do well. But right there is Peralta, and that's the first out of the inning. Oh, man, he's got to be thinking, that might be the hardest ball I hit all year. Why does it have to be right at somebody? Hey, nobody said this game was fair. Here's Charlie Blackman now. Goes the other way, and he got a lot of it out to deep left. And Holiday's got this one, and there are two gone. Well, you know, he had the right idea up there, so at least you know he's thinking. He tried to go the other way with this ball, but he got under it just a little bit, and it's an easy play out there in left field. Carlos Gonzalez will stand in. A base hit his first time around. First pitch coming from Wainwright. Now a ball lying toward right center. And Gonzalez is going to have himself a base hit. Well, he'd had some high-stress innings here so far. It was looking like he turned a corner and was on his way to a much-needed one, two, three. But he's going to have to get in the stretch here after all. Troy Tulowitzki will get a shot here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. That two-out single seemed harmless enough, but... Anytime you extend the inning to allow this guy to get a shot with a runner on, better be careful. And here's the first pitch. Oof, looks like he's chasing butterflies with that swing. It's 0-1. There you see one of the best swings in baseball look pretty ugly. That's what this guy can do to you. He waits, now the pitch. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. He's ready now, the pitch. And he gets some pretty good wood on it here as this is lifted to fairly deep left. Under it now is Holiday, and he's got it no problem to end the inning. One left for Colorado. They're down two to nothing. Johnny Peralta will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Shortstop, Johnny Peralta. Peralta. 
Hands held high by Peralta. Now the pitch. Now a bullet back up the middle. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Boy, that hit right there is just a thing of beauty. You talk about smoking one right back at the box. There isn't too many guys in the middle of that field that can catch a ball like that. Colton Wong will stand in as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Pause, now the pitch. Uh, had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. He showed him that slider running away two times in a row. Now might be a good time to call him that two-seamer running in. He's ready. Now the pitch. Sweet. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. Now an off-speed pitch that nearly ran in and got him. I'll tell you, he's already hit one guy. He is not afraid to work inside. No, and as much as I hate to say it, pitchers have just as much right to the inside part of the plate as you do. Come set, now the pitch. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. And this is a spot where, to me, you don't need to play home run derby here. I mean, if your last name is Pujols or Fielder, maybe. But for a guy like this, you just try to get on base and give your guys a chance to drive you in. John Jay will dig in. He drove in a run with the sacrifice fly his first time. Now the first pitch drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. Let's keep them close. He's gonna go. He's set. Now the pitch, and this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And he's tracking that all the way across the plate, but. That had too much sweep to it for him to think of swinging. The 1-1 home. And this is hit hard up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Adam Wainwright will stand in with a chance to help himself out big time here with a couple of men in scoring position. And a lot of times, pitchers go up there just because they sort of have to. But here, if you go up and just think ground ball up the middle, you might get one home, maybe two. This is a big-time chance. Now the first pitch. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Gonzalez the catch. Now here comes the runner from third. And he'll make it into score. It's a sack fly and an RBI, and it's now a 3-0 ball game. Yeah, I don't know if they really had much of a shot at getting him at the plate, but that's good work to keep the other runner at second base. Matt Carpenter will stand in now, a punch-out victim twice already. E.K., I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at-bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that Whatever you did the first two times, <laughs> it wasn't working. But I think if you start worrying too much about trying to avoid the hat trick or, or worse, it'll... Uh, just a sec now as that ball finds its way into the outfield, a base hit. And the run will come across to score from second, and they open it up to 4 nothing now. That's a good approach right there with two away. He's just going to shorten up the stroke and take it right back up the middle. That'll be good enough to get the job done and pick up the two-out RBI. Here's Jason Hayward now. Swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. 
So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Cardinals four and the Rockies nothing. Justin Morneau will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. First pitch coming from Wainwright. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Nolan Arenado will dig in. He singled his first time around. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a liner, but foul. No runs, three hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Rockies so far. Now he'll step off. Pitch on the way. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Here's the pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Oh, you've got to like the way he's throwing the ball right now. You get a one pitch out to start the inning, and then you follow that up with a three pitch strikeout. He's settling in nicely now. Corey Dickerson will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Here's the first offering. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Down by four this early. I don't know if that's the type of swing you need to be taking here. Here it comes. Oh, he looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. <laughs> That got in his kitchen big time right there. Now the pitch. Here we go. And he reaches out to get this one as it's grounded to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Matt Holliday set to lead things off when we come back. It's the Cardinals four and the Rockies nothing. And there is Matt Holliday now. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. First pitch coming. And a wide one here for ball one. 1 0 pitch now. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Here's the 1 1 pitch. 1 and 2 is the changeup had him out in front there. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. Now here it comes. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Another 1-2 delivery. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And he can't pick it up. That ought to go down as an infield single. And the recovery's too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. And when things are going well, these are the little things that just seem to start going your way. Nothing too amazing here, but this winds up an infield single and the brakes just keep going their way. Matt Adams will stand in now. 
He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. First pitch on the way. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. This is where a guy who's been very aggressive around the plate may start thinking about being a little more fine later on in the game. When these guys start thinking, hey, you know what? I'm just going to go up there and jump on the first pitch. You don't even have to throw him something good to hit. The swing, and he pulls it down the line and deep. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he's not stopping as third base coach Jose Akendo's waving him in. And they'll add another as this is now a 5-0 game. Well, there you go. That was easy. Lead off single, puts the guy in the stretch, and then bang, a triple here chases him home. Yadier Molina will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. Now here's the first pitch. Swing, hard hit ball to second. A throw to the plate. And add one more as this is now a 6-0 ball game. Well, I think you really have to question this decision here for him trying to get the out at the plate. Maybe if it's hit to a corner infielder, but this was always going to be a long shot, and he winds up beating the throw easily. Here's Johnny Peralta now. As he swings and hits this one, foul off to the right and out of play. He's set, now the pitch. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And forget about the double play now, as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. It seems like very little has gone his way this entire start. And this is going to add to his misery, as that will be scored a wild pitch. 